Good morning, everyone. Boker Tov and Shabbat Shalom. We are now in the days of Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, known as Aseret Yimei Teshuvah, the 10 days of repentance. And we have additional prayers that we say during these 10 days. And one of them is Psalm 130, which we recite every morning when we open the ark right after the Yishtabach prayer. And we, the Chazan calls out, Shir HaMalot Mimam Akim Karatich HaShem. A song of ascents, from the depths of my heart I call out to you, God. And one of the verses that King David writes in Psalm 130 is that, Ki imcha haslicha leman tivare, which means, with you, God, to you, God, there is fear towards you. Why? Because you are forgiving. And the question is, it would seem just the opposite. If God is forgiving, there should be less fear or no fear of God because he will always forgive. Why does King David say that with you, God, there is forgiveness in order that you shall be feared? And uh, Magad of Mizrich, one of the great Hasidic masters, gives the following analogy, but I'll just modernize the analogy. Imagine you took out a loan to buy a building and you borrowed a lot of money on an interest rate and you bought this building. And then there was a downturn in the economy, the neighborhood went bad, the real estate lost its value, and now you can't pay the mortgage. So you go to have a meeting with the bank manager. If the bank manager says, listen, I don't care what happened in the economy, I don't care about the value of your real estate, I don't care that half your building has no tenants, I want full monthly payments with the full interest. Then you go home and you say, look, there's no way I could pay it, so I'm not even gonna think about it, I'm not even gonna worry about it, I'll just give up, let him, let him, you know, foreclose on my building. There's nothing I can do. But if the building, if the bank manager says, look, I'll work with you. I'll tell you what, I'll forgive 30% of the loan. I'll lower the interest rate. I'll defer some of the payments. And he gives you an opportunity to hold on to the real estate and not lose it. Now you'll be up all night thinking, how can I get the money? How can I work this out? How can I move things around in order to hold on to this property by paying the bank manager? The same thing with God. If God would say to us, listen, I want full payment. I'm not accepting any deals. I'm not willing to meet you halfway. I'm not willing to be forgiving at all. I want the full exact amount that you owe me. Then we would say, God, there's no way we can live up to your standards. Forget it. I give up. I'm not even going to try. But because God is forgiving and God says, look, do the best you can. Show me you're remorseful. Show me that you have a plan of action, how to do better in the coming year. Show me your sincerity. Because God is a forgiving God, now I am in awe of God. Now I have fear because I have this opportunity to be forgiven, to wipe the slate clean, to begin the year anew with God's forgiveness, to turn over a new leaf, a new beginning in my life. Now I'm motivated, I'm activated, and I'm going to fear God and do my best to come into Yom Kippur with a plan of action of how next year will not be a repeat of last year, but it will be a better year, a better year for myself, for my family, for my friends, for my community, and for my path in life. And now we are just three days before Yom Kippur. This is the time to prepare ourselves for the holiday for Yom Kippur and think about the past year and think about which areas of life we would like to do better, we would like to improve, we would like to increase how we could better our relationships, starting with God and then with our spouse, with our children, with our parents, with our siblings, with our loved ones, with our friends, how we could give more to others, to the community, how we could better our character, our personality traits. And by doing that, we will come into the new year and God will grant us his forgiveness and we will be blessed with a Khatima Tova, with a inscription and a sealing for a good new year. There's a story told about this rabbi who was visiting in upstate New York with his son. And there was a local congregation on top of a hill. They heard that this uh, renowned rabbi was visiting. So they asked him to come and speak to the congregation. And he said, fine, I'll be happy to. So one evening, the congregation gathered. And the rabbi walked with his son all the way to the synagogue. They walked up the hill. They came into to the, to the synagogue. And they noticed there was a charity box attached to the wall right outside the door. So the rabbi took out his wallet, took out a dollar, and he put it into the charity box. He went in, he gave his talk, it was beautiful, well-received, everyone appreciated it. 
Everyone thanked him and went home. And then the president of the synagogue said, Look, Rabbi, we would like to pay you something. Let me see what we could afford to pay you. And he walks the rabbi outside the door. And he opens up the charity box. And he looks in and he sees there's one dollar. Takes out the dollar and says, Rabbi, this is what I could afford to give you for your talk. The rabbi thanks him, takes the dollar, and begins to return home with his son. And on the way home, his son turns to him and says, Daddy, had you put more money in, you would have received more. And the lesson is a very powerful lesson. In life, if we put more in, we will receive more in return. With a little bit of effort during these days, and sincerity and prayer and repentance and charity on the day of Yom Kippur, we will take back so much more in blessings and goodness and happiness and health in the coming year. Let us remember that God awaits us on Yom Kippur with open arms, lovingly, and says, Return to me, my children. Let us begin the new year anew for the, a better version of who you can be. Have a wonderful day and a Shabbat Shalom. The Shabbat is Shabbat Shuvah, the Shabbat of repentance. May it be a Shabbat of returning to God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our might. Shabbat Shalom.